These are five things that all good players do. Good players are consistent, they play really good golf. And hopefully you learning from these five things will help you become more consistent and play better golf too. I'm Rick Shields, PGA Golf Professional. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any videos. If you enjoy this video, smash that like button and leave me a comment down below. How many of these five things do you do? Or do you do them all? Let's start off with number one. So one thing you'll see all good golfers do is they use the same type of golf ball. This way they gain more consistency of distance, spin rates, touch and feel around the green. You often don't see good players switching between brands or golf balls too much. Get a fitting, get a golf ball that suits your game and then stick with it. That way you're gonna be much more consistent out on the golf course. Number two thing you see all good players do is make sure the club is prepared, ready for the shot. So make sure it's clean, make sure it's dry. Again, this is gonna help you become a more consistent golfer. If you've got a wet club face and the grooves aren't clean, the ball's gonna react differently off it. You don't want flyers, you don't want the ball to come out with no spin. Look after your equipment, make sure it's nice and clean to gain that ultimate consistency. And good practice, clean it after every shot. And as a side note to my last point, what you'll also see good players do, when they get the opportunity to mark the ball on the green, they'll clean it, they'll dry the golf ball. That way you're going to get the most consistent roll from the ball, certainly on long putts, it's going to give you a bit more chance of holding your shot. Another thing you'll see all good players do is they'll take note of their playing partners when putting on the green. So that if you have the putt next, you can learn from it. Whether the putt's gonna be fast, slow, uphill, downhill, left to right. So when you're playing partner watch, don't just look around in the sky, watch the putt and learn from it. And that way you can have a better chance of holding your own putt. Bearing in mind you cannot stand directly behind or directly behind the flag on the other side. But stand from a distance and take note, you're going to hold more putts that way. Okay, so number four of the things I see good golfers do. And it's think of the positives, think of the do's, not the don'ts. So I've got a tee shot here. As a, I'm going to be positive on this shot. I'm going to hit the fairway. My mission is to hit down that left hand side, fade it straight back into the middle of the fairway. I'm focusing my positive reinforcement on that and visualizing that shot. The worst thing you can do is think of the don'ts. Don't go in the water, don't go out of bounds, don't hit it into the trees because that's going to give negative reinforcement. I'm stood here and I'm going, right, do hit the fairway. I want to start the ball down that left hand side, fade it back to the middle. Have that positive reinforcement going through your mind all the time so when i step up to the golf ball i'm confident i'm ready good golfers do this they don't think of the don'ts they think of the do's i am going to hit that fairway i'm going to do it with style so as you can see that's landing into the fairway just right of my target line but absolutely middle of the fairway that positive reinforcement I went there the right attitude and I've put myself in a perfect spot so number five of the things that good golfers do when out on the golf course is shot calculation I'm here on a par three and I've played it several times last week for example I hit an a tie into the middle of the green and left myself a good chance for birdie today's a totally different day it's slightly more into wind it's colder. I'm maybe not feeling as freely, not swinging as fast. So all of those things you need to calculate and good golfers do that great. Using tools like GPS or lasers to be able to identify where the flag is, that is also a massive help. Learning from your playing partners. So if you are not first to go, learning from playing partners who maybe hit the, the club's same distance as you, learn from their mistakes. If they come up short or hit it long, learn from that. I think good players are really good at this. They don't just presume that I'm gonna hit a, an eight iron here this week because that's what I hit last week. In the summer, downwind, 
wearing just a t-shirt, I could probably hit pitching wedge into this green, but today I'm into wind. The pin's further at the back. It's definitely colder. No way would I have hit seven iron last week, but today I need to hit seven iron to get to that back flag. It's all about shot calculation, not just grabbing a club, presuming that is the correct club to hit and going for it. Good players learn every single time they go out and play to adapt to the situation. And because of that, they get closer to the flag and score lower every time they play. There are five things that good golfers do out on the golf course, mainly to improve their consistency level. I think it's really important as a good golfer to stay consistent. You want no variables. To minimize those variables are gonna benefit your score. If you're a higher handicapper, you can learn from these things. No, don't just randomly choose any golf ball and play and don't just neglect your equipment or don't just presume that you're gonna hit the same club week in, week out. Learn from it and adapt to it. Guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, smash that like button. Leave me a comment down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Stay tuned, lots more to come, and we'll see you next time.